software defined WAN or SD WAN is one of the hottest technologies that Fortinet is bringing to the table. What is so special about it and how do we configure it? Coming up. To get more easy setup tips for your 48 firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. The idea behind software defined WAN is quite simple. You actually create an abstract layer, a virtual interface where each WAN member gets into it. Now, Think about it that way. Usually we use different WAN interfaces to load balance the traffic. You can also do it using SD1 or even using a more legacy techniques such as ECMP, equal cost multipath. But SD1 brings one more thing. It actually allows you to deliver the traffic to the specific WAN interface based on your application behavior. So if you're using a cloud or a software as a service, you will probably need low latency. If you're using voice over IP, your voice packets will flow towards the WAN interface that suffers the less packet loss. Let's start to configure our SD-WAN interfaces. Now we can use landline interfaces. We can also use cellular interfaces. A WAN interface can be just about any wide area network interface. So let's head over to our SD-WAN interface. It's in our network menu enable it and start adding up our WAN interfaces and now let's add up the gateway for each uh, for each WAN interface let's add up the second our second WAN it's and our third WAN interface So right now we have three members which we are actually aggregating into one virtual interface, one logical interface. And we can also see how bandwidth sessions and volume is being distributed. And that is without configuring any rules or any preferences. So let's apply that. And if we will move over back to our interfaces pane, we can see that we have a new SD1 interface that is comprised of our three WAN members. So now the next thing to do is to use the SD1 interface in our static route. Up until now, we have used one WAN interface, uh, which will act as our default route. But for now, the default route will actually be our SD1 interface. And FortiGate already takes the reference for each interface gateway. So now we have a new virtual interface. We have a new static route. And now let's create our policy. policy will start with our LAN interface towards our SD-WAN interface. Let's make our policy a basic one. So now we have our policy that is using the SD-WAN interface. Now let's go back to our SD-WAN rules. We can see that FortiGate already created one rule for us. That is the load balancing rule, which uses different algorithms. The uh, default algorithms is source IP. 
Now let's move over to our performance SLA. Now we can create a health check, which will actually ping a specific server. Usually it's our ISP server or our DNS server, such as 8888. We will use uh, the different WAN members as participants. We must enable the update static route, so whenever one WAN interface fails, the other one will take its place in the routing table. All right, so now we have created a health check. That is the quality measures that our health checks uh, is doing. It actually um, checks for packet loss, for latency, and for jitter. In 6.2, you also have a graphical view of the quality measures. So now let's create another health check and this time this health check will actually measure the quality of our link towards a specific SIP server. So let's create new. Let's call our health check SIP. Um, let's use another server. We can also use our SIP server as our health check server. Our participants this time will be only when one and when two. We have three attributes of an internet connection that we can choose from. The first one is latency, the second one is jitter, and the third one is packet loss. We know that uh, while using our SIP server, latency is not an issue, jitter is not an issue, but we uh, should not suffer more than 10% packet loss since it is a SIP application. Um, let's make the check interval once in 10 seconds. And there we have it, our SIP performance SLA that will be used later on in our SD-WAN rule. Now let's create our SD-WAN rule for our SIP application. So let's name it SIP. The source address is just about anyone. We can also limit it to a specific user group. We will use, instead of a specific address or specific internet service, we will use application and we will grab just about any SIP application out there. And now we move over to the WAN strategy that has um, also changed in uh, 6.2. Uh, but the basic thing to know is that whenever we use minimum quality, the order of the uh, interfaces matters. Whenever we choose best quality, the best WAN interface with the best uh, SLA target will always be used and it doesn't really matter if we have chosen when 2 instead of when 3. In minimum quality SLA, it will always use the first chosen interface if it stands with the SLA targets. Now let's choose our required SLA target and that's it you can create dozens of SD-WAN rules specifically or tailor-made specifically for your different application needs either in terms of latency, jitter, packet loss, bandwidth and more. It depends only on you.